have you here because we have some big news here for Orlando. And as such, I'd like to introduce to you Joshua Wallach. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming. It's such a proud day for our family, myself and my father, David. We're business partners on this venture. It is extremely, extremely exciting for us to confirm that we are in fact building the polar coaster in Orlando, a 570 foot vertical roller coaster, which will be built right on the site you're sitting on right now, the old Fun and Wheels property here on International Drive. We're gonna unveil the project here. I know you all know this as the polar coaster, but that's really kind of the name of the, the generic name of the roller coaster itself. The Orlando Polar Coaster will be known as the Skyscraper. And the Skyscraper is inside of an indoor entertainment complex known as Skyplex. The Skyscraper at Skyplex here on iDrive. An incredible renaissance project for North iDrive and situated two blocks away from the 425 foot Orlando I Ferris wheel, which we can all see being built in the distance. An incredible opportunity for International Drive for the tourist corridor to have two iconic structures that are both rides to be right in the same area for tourists, conventioneers, locals to come and enjoy International Drive, the International Drive of the 21st century. You can see in uh, the, the front elevation of Skyplex, that the skyscraper towers out of the facility itself. You'll basically drive in from International Drive along what you see now is, a, is the uh, Burger King. And we also have the Sand Lake Road uh, easement that, that we own right here. And you have, uh, you'll have another road going out to Canada Avenue where you'll follow that down along the side of the site and into our structured parking garage that's built on top of Skyplex. Uh, it's an incredible hub and spoke to get people in International Drive and then out via Canada Avenue and they can go left, they can go to North I Drive, they can make a right and take Carrier out, they can take Sand Lake Road out. So there's a lot of, the mobility of this site is incredible. Uh, we don't push cars back out to I Drive that are leaving, we push them out to Canada Avenue and with great signage out there so the people know just how to get back to their hotels. Inside Skyplex, which you'll have sweeping 40 foot high ceilings upon entry. You'll be greeted by escalators, fountains, arcades, all manner of entertainment options that are going to be uh, inside this incredible facility. On the exterior of it, out on International Drive, prime retail space, very, very exciting retail. Even uh, most exciting, the track, when you come down off of the skyscraper, the track comes down and whips around the retail and the cars come around International Drive. So people who are driving down I Drive are gonna see these roller coaster cars whipping around the Skyplex and you're gonna hear, see people up on it. It is going to be an incredible roller coaster. What probably, definitely the world's tallest and probably the most exciting because you will be up upwards of 50 stories when you make your first inverted G-roll and start heading down this thing. For people who think the skyscraper is a little bit ride, is a little bit too much, you can enter Skyplex, take the escalator up to the second floor, and go up to the hostess station and take a 55-story glass elevator ride up to the top of the skyscraper where the first level will be an observation platform for people, children, to come up and enjoy these incredible breathtaking views. And then above the observation deck, we have a restaurant, lounge, nightclub space with an incredibly high ceiling, which will provide sweeping views, fireworks shows, and an incredible view of the Orlando Eye of Mango's Tropical Cafe across the street of International Drive. We're so thrilled to be here. Um, we have this uh, a, a, a huge uh, parking structure that's gonna be vertical, built vertically above Skyplex, so we have plenty of parking. 
And again, of course, the mobility of the site to have all these different access uh, entries and exits and not sending you back into the International Drive, uh, but, but giving you a great way to, to exit the, uh, the facility will, will certainly help with uh, traffic concerns. We have bought the rights for the state of Florida. So the skyscraper will be the only polar coaster in Florida. However, U.S. Thrill Rides is selling this ride in different heights and, and variations all over the world. How much are you spending and how much will it cost for me to ride the coaster? Skyplex will be, uh, the, the, the estimated budget right now is around 200 million, give or take. And we are going to have a um, kiosk machines that vend um, your, your <coughs> power card, which will have your video game uh, credits and will uh, allow you to, to buy rides on the skyscraper, one, two, or unlimited. Uh, we're, we're still looking at some pricing, but it's certainly going to be uh, under $20 for, uh, for unlimited rides. And Michael? You know, this is uh, interesting. We've got two great father and son teams here. You don't see this very often in uh, these industries. I always say there's nothing wrong with nepotism if you keep it in the family. But really, these uh, two teams here, they work very great together. Uh, we're very happy about it. And I also wanted to mention that this is the third great attraction of U.S. Thrill Rides on International Drive. Uh, the first I'd like to acknowledge, of course, is the incredible sky coaster that's right up the road here uh, that actually began in Orlando. And uh, the Aries with Fun Spot actually operate the two largest in the world on uh, each end of International Drive. And then the wind tunnel called iFly was also one of our projects from about 10 years ago that's now all over the world. And uh, so it's very fitting that Orlando will be the first spot for this incredible new ride called the Polar Coaster. Uh, probably a few technical questions and so forth, and I'm sure Michael can answer those for you. First of all, thank you for braving this heat today and uh, coming out and enjoying this celebration with us. Uh, we arrived at 600 feet. That's the first time I'd had a chance to see the site at that height, and I can I gotta tell you, the ride is going to be incredible. It is going to be absolutely fantastic at that height. Uh, a couple of quick notes, I couldn't be more proud to have this in Orlando, uh, number one tourist de destination here in the United States. Couldn't be more proud to be working with our team that we put together, especially the Wallachs, for having a vision to build something so incredible. And uh, U.S. Thrill Rides couldn't be more proud to have this in our own backyard. We're just very, very excited. Keep the details of the coaster very close. We know this is going to be a world record coaster. It's going to be the tallest coaster in the world, and we're going to break multiple other world records in the process. It's going to be fully looping, full inversion. It's going to be an incredible ride. The coaster itself is built by a company called SNS out of Logan, Utah. The steel is coming out of Jacksonville, ten, uh, Jacksonville Florida, a company called uh, Haskell Steel and our partners that are building at our Euphoria and Winter Park construction. Um, any technical questions that I can answer for you? This is going to be one of the most thrilling rides in the world. I was just at that height and it's going to be absolutely awe-inspiring, incredible. We intend to roll you inverted over 50 stories in the air and just being at that height, it's going to, it's going to be unbelievable. Not only will the this be the tallest roller coaster in the world. It will be one of the longest steel coasters in the world, too. It's a very long, very exciting three-minute experience coming down that uh, with loops and inversions and uh, barrel rolls and uh, direction changes. It's not a free fall ride. This is a, it's a real roller coaster. It's a super coaster. By the way, the helicopter that the kitchens arrived in, we're going to make available to members of the press after the conference if you'd like to go up to 570 feet above this site and, and shoot or do whatever you want to do, we uh, we have our helicopter available for you. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll be the most exciting roller coaster in the world. It's high when you get up there, by the way. If you look over to the right and see the Space Coast, you look to the left on a clear day, you can see the Gulf. And if you really squint your eyes, you can see New York City up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all in the heat, so any more technical questions before U.S. Thrill Rides moves on? Um, 
What is going to be the capacity of this ride and how tall do you have to be to go on it? <laughs> You'll be tall enough yeah. by the time it's over. You're sitting. I'm going to stand here like this. The ride height will be approximately 48 inches tall and we expect the capacity to be theoretically a thousand passengers per hour. Yes? Uh, what's the restraint system like? It's a uh, new Cumberbund restraint system by s, s It's the most modern in the world. It'll give you uh, views uh, full left and full right because there's no shoulder harness. So at that height, it'll be restrained in the, in the center in a Cumberbund type position. So uh, it's a very nice way to look out and see everything. Yes, well, go ahead. Approximately how long will the track be and how many inversions can riders expect? We're going to keep those details very close, but uh, it's uh, it's a very long ride, nearly a mile. So, track length is 5,200 feet. The maximum speed will be about 65 miles per hour. <laughs> yes? I'm wondering um, what the seating is. Is it a two or a four? This is a four by four eight passenger uh, vehicle uh, with stadium seating so there will be uh, no obstructed views. Everybody will have a great view going over this thing. Uh, so it's a very nice, very nice car. Any other questions? Okay, well thank you very much for coming and we are so excited. I'm sure this is one of many as this thing goes up. But thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.